Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection for PC. So anyway, last time I asked if you guys wanted to see any of my other houses before we really got started with gameplay on the Schlud household and you do want to see the, well, Manny's household. Ooh, we just had his kids. That's not it. Um, hold on. There we go. This is it over here. The rainbow household. Uh, this is where Manny lives with his wife and four kids. <laughs> so we're going to check this out first thing just to get kind of a house tour. As I said that this was something I kind of wanted to do since this neighborhood is entirely my own. Minus the like pre-made shops and whatever, but we don't even have that many of those yet, so... I want to do kind of a major collection of things in this recording session, such as tour, a build a downtown, I would like to work on building um, of the Brown County shops area, like I said I was going to last time, and then of course we're going to see some Schlud household gameplay, but I just want to make it clear that different things are going to be mixed in and I'll be kind of monitoring the time a little bit so we get um, a good mix in each episode for this week. Happy 4th of July, by the way. I know that this very first portion is going to go up on the 4th of July, so I want to wish everybody a safe and happy Independence Day. And if you're not a resident of the United States, then happy Monday because, you know, I don't know. People always complain about Mondays, and I never really found Mondays to be that annoying. I always kind of looked forward to Monday, because it was like, oh yay, a new start. Like, let's go. I don't know. Maybe I'm just cooler than everybody else, though. That must be it. Anyway, um, here we go. Oh good, he's trimming flowers. Um, so this household, it's weird because I have worked on certain aspects like completely and then other aspects are, aren't even finished yet so um, bear with me as I show this off but anyway this is a fairly new household I just haven't played it in a while this main area down here it's supposed to be kind of like an old country style home obviously you can tell like this is the master bedroom there's a little bathroom in there this is going to be the kitchen um, area living room area back here. I've got two bathrooms because I want this to be a very large family, so... And then like a little den area where I was gonna put the computer. It has a wraparound, um... Well, kind of, a wraparound deck. And when I was building this house, I wanted to make it very true to the kind of houses that are in Brown County. They're very, like, country, old-style homes. And so... Um, that's what I went for. Then we have the upstairs, which has three bed or four bedrooms. I'm sorry, one of which is really a nursery for the baby. And these rooms, they're all really. I really love how these rooms turned out because they're all very like quaint and cute, um, but simple. There's not like too much crap in them, which is something I tend to do a little bit too much. I add too much stuff into every room. Like you're gonna live in this room alone um, when that never happens. So. I really like the nursery too. I think it's really cool. And then the teenage daughter gets her own um, kind of apartment of sorts over here. So she has her own bedroom and bathroom upstairs. It's kind of like, the idea was to have it be like a loft from the garage, that kind of thing. Um, so her room's really cool. She has a little like square fireplace. And then um, the garage is down there, also with like a little reading area. So I really love this house and how it turned out. Um, or I should say how it's turning out since it's really not even finished. But, um, but you know, hey, the house isn't even done and Manny's already got two kids by another woman. How wonderful is that? Um, and then exterior, I'll start, um, or I'll start, I'll finish with the exterior. I put a nice blue roof on it to give it a cotton candy feel. I just really love it. It seems really homey and like cozy. So <clears throat> that's what this house is all about. So anyway, we're going to leave it at that and we're going to go back to the neighborhood. So I hope you like the rainbow household. It's probably my, I want to say it's probably my favorite house that I have built in Brown County yet. Um, 
just because I love the aesthetic of it and pretty much how detailed it turned out that it's not just a bunch of like square rooms. Some of my other houses I tend to be like let's make a million rooms and they all look exactly the same and there's nothing appealing or different about them. Um, so I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and add a downtown area because we still don't have one. So if you go up here, um, I've shown this off a while ago, but we have two more options. We can add a shopping district and a downtown. So, because most of you said that nightlife was your favorite, um, that's why I'm deciding to add this now. Because um, I want us to be able to go out to the club. That seems very fitting to the kind of family we're playing on right now anyway, especially with Donna, since she has, um, you know, she has a tendency to want to woohoo in public, so that's basically why we're doing this. It's pretty cool. You know something I haven't done in a long time is build downtown to where like somebody lives in the city. That's something that um, Ultimate Collection has a lot more options for that. Like there are apartments and stuff. So it's not all like, oh my god, you have to have like a little townhouse, it's like you can rent an apartment in the city like you would in real life. It's more realistic and more fitting, I think. So it's kind of cool if somebody moves out and they can move downtown and like move into an apartment or something. So that's something you can add. I don't know if you could name your downtown, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that it's just downtown. One thing that'll happen too, probably, is when we go back on our house, like back to the Schlupp family household, um, somebody's gonna call and be like, oh, a bunch of us are hanging out downtown, you wanna go? And if you go, you can, like, you can travel with a group of people, like if that makes sense. It probably doesn't make that much sense the way I just said it, but instead of going with like one person downtown, you have like a, a clique or a clan or whatever you wanna call it. Um, that you go downtown with and do all these things and so like if you eat dinner you're gonna get like a big table of all these people and whatnot. It's pretty cool. It's again more realistic to like if you go downtown with a group or you do anything with a group not just one-on-one -on -one with people so I like that they added that and ooh, that's a good idea. I've never made like a club that has a a walkway outside. That's what we should do. We should build a club. But, um, that being said, let's go back to the Schlatt household and then we'll go downtown. Look at Donna's face with the two kids. Like, how did I get into this? Cheats. Chick. Duh. Um. Obvious. Okay. So anyway. I want to um, address also the fact that I was really pleasantly surprised and happy to have the support of all of you um, for my somewhat rant I had last recording session about how the gaming industry on YouTube has changed. I don't think I saw one person that was like, oh no, it's, it's better now, or no, it's just you, you're making it up, like everybody um, kind of saw it the same way which I think was I'm not like wow I'm so proud of that I'm just I think it's interesting like I didn't really know what to expect other people to say so I was pleasantly surprised we'll put it that way okay um dude you're not gonna get engaged to Z Sean you're already engaged to Catherine okay I forgot that stupid stuff's happening outside what is happening outside? Okay. Oh, I guess we're just having family time. Well, what I'm gonna do is- Oh, Manny's gonna kick my trash can over! Okay, um, let's ask him to leave first of all. We're getting closer to college, guys! Baby's crying. She just like shooed him. She's gonna pick up this mess. Pick up the trash! 
Oh, but I forgot. We have. To oh no, they're both just on the floor. Come on! What are you doing? Okay, we're gonna change Buzz first, and then we gotta change um, Samson. We're gonna go ahead and put Frigga in her crib too. The surf music! I forgot about it. Where is she? She's up here? Oh my god. Ah, oh, I freaking love how cute Rex is. He is just adorable. Alright, Blue Bear, why don't you go to bed too? I know you're gonna have to be up in like a few hours, but... Everybody needs to go to bed. That's basically what needs to happen. It's so hard not to use cheats on a family this big with this many different ages and everything. We need to get some club outfits too. Oh, one of the babies is up. Where's Zeeshan going? Is he leaving? I think he left. I don't know. I really can't tell. It's raining. Uh. Why are you doing that? Uh. I hate when she tries to parent. And it's like, yo, that's what the butler's for, idiot. Okay, someone commented that they really liked Rex's pink attire as well. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, okay, well you're hungry, so you need to... Oh, come on! Just making our cereal. Okay, after this... Dude, what are you doing? Change the baby's diaper! Thank you! Don't be a loser. And you answer the phone. What? No! You just knocked over my trash last night! I'm not doing any favors for you! Okay, um, let's... Groups. No. Call taxi. Stop! You do not need to take care of your kids! Jesus. The butler is here for a reason. Wait a minute. I don't know if that's what I do. How do I... Hmm. Let's call... No, because that'll mess things up too. Okay, never mind. I guess I have to do this. What? Who are you? I don't. Why are you stealing my paper? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna have her go downtown. Uh, there we go. And we're just gonna choose when we get there because I want to actually like show downtown. What is this doing? This screen. So she has to try and parent first. Even though we have freaking butler for that. I wish your butler would like pay your bills too. So you didn't have to worry about it. Oh well. Oh, my kitty is sleeping next to me right now. She's so comfy. You got if you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, any of that stuff, you know I'm like obsessed with my cat. Cause she's like the most beautiful princess who ever lived. Mm -hmm. She's spoiled. She's so wonderful. Alright, anyway, not talking about my cat and talking about the game. Um or the gaming community, rather. A lot of you commented 
And I brought up Dark Minded Sits rat. <laughs> rat? Rant last time. I tried to say last and rant at the same time and it just came out rat. <laughs> um, so Dark Minded Sits rat, which we all know and love now. Um, but his rant <laughs> that he said about the community and um, he pointed out that everybody seems like a PewDiePie, PewDiePie clone now. I can't talk. Um, which is super true. And many of you commented that as well. So I was pretty satisfied with that. Um, I'll get back to this in a second though. So here we have all these like weird town homes. These look more downtown appropriate. They're really not that expensive. I thought they were more than that. These are like crappy shack homes. Um, where are the apartments? Are there no apartments? There should be. Mm. Okay, I don't know. I feel like there are apartments, but I'm just not seeing any right now, or I'm really dumb or something. Dang! Look at that downtown home. No! Mmm, that's nice. I might have to check into that one for a future family gothier green lawns oh my gosh all right so crypto nightclub midnight flows Let's see which club do we want to go to I love these big buildings that are just here oh uh, we don't need to go to the art museum FM FM looks like a hopping place too we can club hop too Alright, let's go to FM first. Mm -hmm. 